All right, what is up guys? Jared Campisi with the beautiful Christina K somewhere back there and my good buddy Dotto. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're continuing to work on our partly disassembled um, Panigale. Um, we actually forgot that we need to get more parts painted and we found more parts that actually need to be glossy. When we held up the uh, rear carbon subframe that's glossy against this, we weren't really stoked with how it looked. So we're actually gonna pull these pieces off, any pieces that we have left that aren't glossy, these are satin, and we're gonna pull the calipers off and we're gonna send them back to the painter. So we gotta get more parts painted. We also decided let's just take the entire bike apart so that we know exactly what we can get to and because there's stuff underneath we wanna do. So it's gonna be like kind of a hodgepodge of things um, that we're gonna get to work on this episode. So sit back, relax, enjoy the video. All right, so if you missed the last episode or if you're just getting caught up on what's going on with this bike, we are doing a custom Lamborghini Panigale. That's what we're doing. Um, we already got all the parts painted, um, except for uh, we need to have the calipers done. And we found some more carbon parts that we want to get uh, glossy as well. When we held it up next to it, we didn't like how it looked. Um, so this is a giveaway motorcycle. You can help support these projects and we actually give them away whenever they're done. Patreon.com slash Camp Customs. It's always the first link in the description below. Uh, that's how we're able to do these projects. So you can see it started out as a red Panigale V4S and it's gonna turn into a beautifully painted full carbon Lamborghini inspired paint scheme and I'm really excited for that. So what we're gonna do right now is first pull off these um, pieces that come with the full carbon or the full titanium exhaust system and it's funny because they actually be careful we might want to remove these um yeah. yeah yeah so we don't scratch i mean i guess he could fix it anyway buff it out but um these are going to get replaced anyway so let's just pull those off in the meantime but um for my lamborghini street fighter they actually make a version of this exhaust that you can only buy for the lamborghini street fighter where this is glossy which is pretty interesting i don't really? think i'm going to be getting that um, exhaust system anyway. I'd rather have it be underneath the bike. Um, I think this is cool to do on this project, but it's gonna be a pain in the ass to... Like I did, that was, that was yeah. smart. Yep, so there's one piece. Yeah, look how cool that looks. I like it like that. It's it looks ass. like something that belongs in a museum where they show you, you know how sometimes they have bare engines or engines uh -huh, cut in uh -huh. half, and then they just have the exhaust just kind of like... That's crazy, dude. Yeah. This is wild. One piece up. Okay, there's one. We're gonna take that neck shroud piece off right there. And then we'll work on the calipers. This is the final piece on the bike that's actually not glossy. So we're gonna be taking that off as well. And I did get an, upgrade, an update from Modal Million for Manny. And he said he tried his best to get the Lamborghini Street Fighter wheels from Ducati. And unfortunately he couldn't get them. So. We're gonna just end up doing carbon BST Rapid Tech wheels in gloss finish, and they should be here in the next two weeks. I personally like the carbon wheels better. I think they're lighter, and I just, you know me, I love carbon, and the bike's gonna be full carbon, so the more carbon, the better. But we tried our best to try and get it. We just couldn't get it. All right, we just found more pieces of satin carbon. This, this is all stuff that comes with the exhaust, so we're gonna pull this off as well and have this clear coated so it's glossy as well. And I think that's actually everything at this point. Yes, it is. Thank, thank God. Yes. All right. Next, we're going to remove the front and rear calipers, which means this bike is not moving from this lift till we get those back. And well, even once we get those back, the bike's probably still going to be in pieces for a while. It's going to be here for a while. It's going to be here for a while. I know these maybe aren't the most fun episodes. I, I personally like when we're putting parts on the bike, but I wanna show you guys the real process of doing a build like this, because everyone seems to think it's really easy and no big deal, when in reality, I mean, it's a lot of work and a lot of time and a lot of money. So again, if you can help support this project, Patreon is where we do that. We have the least amount of support I've had in a very long time for the most expensive build we've ever done. I think that's probably a product of the economy right now, and the fact that the bike just looked like another Panigale, it's about to change significantly, and people are gonna be whining that they didn't get in on it, so go over there and get signed up now if you want your best chances of getting this bike when it's done. That's my rant. So with removing calipers, it's pretty simple to physically remove them, but you got all the stuff that drains out of the calipers, the brake fluid itself, so that's what he's doing right now. 
Are you just gonna let it all drain out or are you gonna try and save some? I am not saving anything. No, nope. we'll just, just replace gonna, it all. We're just gonna replace all the fluid mm -hmm. with fresh fluid when we put the, all the stuff back together. Um, you can really undo the cap and let it drain out fast. And let it drain out fast or hit the, I'm just gonna let it drip while we take everything apart. It's very time consuming, so. Okay, sounds good. All right. Look at this process. This is how Dado stays organized. Bagging and tagging everything. Got one caliper off. It's crazy. I think I'm gonna pull the pads because he's going to need to mask everything that's not getting painted off. Mm -hmm. So I think I'm gonna pull. I'm gonna leave this cap on, but I'm gonna pull the pads out out of the thing. Mm -hmm. That way it makes life easier for him a little bit. Sounds good to me. All right. So here's the remnants of this side. Brake fluid. We're gonna save that and reuse it, right? <laughs> no. It's a banjo bowl we are. <laughs> I know. Um, there you go. There's the right calipers to pull all those out. And this guy's all ready to go for paint. So we're gonna be doing the Arancio Borealis Sunset Orange on this. And I think we should do black for the Brembo. Um, people were saying do blue. I think that would be an option, but I personally think orange with black. What do you think, teens? Orange with black. Orange with black? The whole thing orange. Yeah, whole thing orange with the black logo. Dotto, what do you think? He just wants to be a dick. I think it should be uh, pink cornealis. <laughs> Stop. I, I think black against orange. Or we'll look really good. Black. Yeah. Yes, definitely. Right. That's what I think, too. Okay, um, let's do the other side, and then we'll move to the rear caliper. All right, repeating the process. Left hand side coming off. It's gonna dump out as much fluid as possible. It's gonna, more is even gonna come out when he removes those pads. And I'll show you how you remove the pads this time around. Squishing, pressing down on what are those retainers? Yeah, so there's a metal bracket. Well, it's like a metal retainer for the brake pads that's up here. That kind of spreads the brake pads as far away from the um, brake rotor as possible and it keeps it in place. Uh -huh. So see they're in these grooves right here. Yep. So in order to get this out, you have to spread the pistons. And I never stick a screwdriver in here because if you do that, then you break up the brake pad material. Notice how they offset the cooling fins yeah, so they're not sitting on line up. Um, so let me get a screwdriver. You can use like a pad spreader or whatever, but I just put that in here. And the reason why I'm holding it over this is because it shoots fluid out. So yep. you just push that in there like that. And do the other one. And then this pad, if you line up with the center of the, you have to do the other side. Let's see if I have enough here to pull it out, come on. Doing the same thing on the other side. This time. The pad just comes right out. That is so wild. And then try to keep the um, the brake fluid and stuff away from the actual pads. What surface. is this pad material? I believe that they use ceramics for these. I'll have to look up the part number. Okay. Triple H centered, I believe, for it's actually for like race applications. That's really crazy. It's like ceramic compound. There's little pieces of if it's metallic, you'll see little metallic pieces mm -hmm. in it. Notice how it looks like it's cracked. Do you know notice on like your supercars and stuff? that you own. The carbon ceramics? Yeah, the carbon yeah. ceramics look like they're all cracked up. Uh -huh. It's not all it's cracked up to be. <laughs> okay, so that's uh, the front brake calipers off. Yeah, and then I'm gonna take this retainer clip right off. It sucks because once you- You have to bend it. Once you bend these even a little bit, you gotta kind of bend them back before you reassemble. Then this should come out, but it's such a pain in the keister, there we go. It comes right out. Okay. I'm gonna give him the calipers and keep this rubber thing on, let him do his magic on yeah. painting and stuff. Just clean it up a little bit. Mm. People wanted to see different stuff. This is stuff we've never done before. So if you're a true enthusiast and you enjoy this type of content, then you're on the right channel. All right, moved on to the rear caliper. Um, first thing he's doing is removing the banjo bowl and letting some of the brake fluid drain out with this beautiful brake fluid Trainer. It used to look nicer, but the sleeve kind of fell apart. So now it's just a little- Wait, it was the green one? Yeah. This is the green one? It was. Oh my God. The, with the rubber around it? Yeah. Fucking Dotto, no dude. No more rubber, bro. All right, so now what? How do you get through this thing? 
there's two bolts for the caliper. This yeah. one really sucks up here, but once you take that off, you can slide everything down, then I'll show you how the pads come out of the rear caliper. Crazy. Wait, These wait. are a pain in the ass to bleed, if you guys have ever done rear caliper bleeding. Oh, I remember this. Because essentially, the caliper is underslung. Remember we had to hang the bike upside down? Yeah, we had to, <laughs> I had to hold the bike, shake it upside down, and Jared was still riding it. <laughs> All right, one rear brake caliper is gone. You can see how it connects right there. And here it is. Look at this guy. He's just a little guy. Oh, that's a little guy. He's just a little guy. Yeah, so these pads are held in by this pin and then this like little metal retainer. And this pin, the only thing holding this pin from pulling oh out God. is that little tab. Wow. And I like how they installed it and then put a little <laughs> bit of marker on it. Just like, yep, we did our job. And then the so pad you, flies out. Yeah, you, you pull that out, pull the pin out. The pads drop out and this metal thing comes up and then you're done. Okay. So that's pretty much it. And then we'll clean up the caliper, pull the pads out, and then send it off with uh, Dave. Good. That'll be that. All right. So Dado just disassembled this. Look at these pads. Little Brembo pads. Tiny little brake pads. Took Use the pin out. But the world's biggest hammer. Want to show it? Want to show it? Look at it. Look at it. That's an actual size hammer. Yeah, I just got big hands. Yeah. There you and go. There's that. I didn't even have to decompress the piston, which is pretty cool. Yeah. So we'll just wipe this down a little bit and then it's on Dave. Oh, I like this has raised yeah, Brembo. Yeah, that's really cool. I think and we're going to make that black, that raised surface. Oh, are you? Yep. Oh. Orange with black. Okay. Let's match the front. Okay. All right, so he bagged the rear brake line. We've got all of the final parts for painting right here. So all of these will get the glossy clear coat and then the calipers will all get painted in that Arancio Borealis Lamborghini Sunset Orange with the black accents on the Brembo. So that's gonna be really cool. Uh, next thing we're gonna do is actually just dis disassemble the rest of the fairings because we realize there's no point to leave these on here. It's just gonna make Gatto's life more of a pain in the ass and it'll give us a better view of what we need to do underneath all of these panels in the meantime. Um, so that's what we're gonna do next. We're gonna continue with disassembly, starting with the belly. All right, belly panel is off, and that's the last time you're ever gonna see this. It's heavy. Yeah. Wow, look at the bluing. Woo-wee! Bluey! That's what we were looking for right there. Damn, that is beautiful. So Holy crap. needs to beat on this a little more. <laughs> so it goes all the way up through, huh? It's not gonna get hot enough back there. I don't, think, I don't think those are gonna it blue will. in. It will? Yeah. Dude, I've ridden some serious miles you on this thing. You just fold these shut, it'll get blue real oh. fast. <laughs> All right, belly panels removed. Now we're taking off the reverse Lambo side fairings. Those are heavy. When we replace these with the carbon pieces, it's gonna be a massive difference. Look at this thing. Now we're getting somewhere, boys. Now we're getting somewhere. Should we take the front fairing off too, Dotto? Do you wanna get rid of it? Okay. Feels like deja vu. Manny took these off once, Dotto took them off once. Now he's taking them off for the final time. Which is a good feeling. I actually like all of this because we have everything. Pretty much everything. Almost everything. Oh, not quite everything. Hey, little bonus thing here. If you guys are taking apart any mirrors that have these plastic covers, mm -hmm. they are a pain in the ass to figure out once the mirrors are on the bike, like how the, the orientation is. So if you put the bolts back in there with the orientation of the plastic, then you'll know, hey, this mirror goes here and this is how the plastic thing goes. I like it. Makes life a lot easier. Tip for, from your Uncle Dotto. Yeah, and a lot faster with this assembly because when you come over here and you see your little breakdown. It's just, it's just bolt-ons, guys. It's bolt-offs bolt right now. It's just, yeah, it's not a big deal. Like, anyone could do it. Bolt-off, bolt-on. Wax off, wax on. Is that the reference? Mr. Miyagi. Uh-huh. All right, once this is off, this whole front end's coming off, that'll probably be a good place to stop. All right, folks, here we go. The front end's coming off for the last time. Look at that. That's crazy. We have this part in Wait, carbon. I'm showing the Easter huh? egg. Oh, shoot. I think it's too late. We have this part in carbon. We have this part in carbon. There's going to be a lot of stuff we've got to do, which is one of the reasons why we wanted to start taking that apart now. And we already had our headlight that we replaced. This has already been off before, remember? Nope, I don't remember. <laughs> all right, well, there you go. I think that's a great place to stop. We got all the parts removed that we're gonna be sending back to Dave, well, taking back to Dave, um, so that he can do the glossy clear coat on the carbon and then the custom paint on the all the calipers. The bike is 
for the most part fully disassembled and now we can start doing things on the inside of the bike. We might do some Patreon only videos for something like this where we have to disconnect the swing arm. It's going to be pretty intense. Things that I feel like might be a little bit boring for YouTube. Um, and we also like to give the patrons a little bit of extra um, stuff for them supporting the projects because obviously only one person can win the bike and we have more than one person supporting the project. So um, there you go. Dotto crushed it, tore this thing apart. Looks really cool. We were actually talking about how cool it would be to do a Street Fighter of our own for one of these. Imagine, look at that silhouette right there with a little solo seat. Obviously I would do underbelly exhaust instead of all the way up there. And then do some th something on the side that just covers this up. I think that could be really cool for a you future build. You know what I would do? Yeah. I would do this exhaust and then right here I would just do a single can. Yep, just have one oh, there. Awesome would that would be? be sick. That actually would be sick. You could chop it right here and weld one on, right? Mm -hmm. Actually, it can, it collects over there. So it would have to still collect it. Have to get. Oh yeah, right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's freaking yeah, yeah, badass. Yeah, uh -huh, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So there you go, guys. There's your uh, custom Lamborghini Panigale in its We're current done. state. Time for the giveaway. Who wants it? Who <laughs> who wants it? You got to put it back together though. Good luck. The seat's not comfortable right now. But... Yeah, it's not the most comfortable seat. You got to be really careful. But look at that. Freaking craziness. So yeah. That's it for this episode. Um, if you guys enjoyed it, give it a big old juicy thumbs up, subscribe for more, and we'll see you very short, very soon, very short, very so soon and shortly, very short, very shortly for the next. Okay, bye.